Okay, hi everybody. Um, showing this video um, to make it easy for you today. We're going to start beginning to write our own songs, but we're going to use a pattern. We're going to use the one, five, six, four pattern. And here's what that means. I've shown in this video before, right? And learningmusic.ableton.com. I'm not going to play the whole thing. If you want to see it again, you hit the menu, you go to chords, you go to chords, and then you go one, five, six, four, and then these guys come up. We've seen this, right? So one, five, six, four. So you hear the pattern, it's the, it's the video where they just change the words and it's the same songs over and over and over again, right? One chord, five, six, and four. And it just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. Okay. So if you want to watch that, great, watch it. Okay, learning music. Ableton.com. Again, to find that, you go to chords and then you go one, five, six, four. After you watch that, go to the playground. And we're going to go to the bass lines. Okay? And the notes we're going to use in this one, five, six, four are going to be C. G, A, and F. Okay? You have to use those notes. That's your pattern. C, G, A, F. And when you're doing this, if you notice, I only have one note in each of these columns. Columns are the vertical lines. The only way I can put more than one note in a column is if I use the same note. I could do that if I want. Okay? I could do that if I want. It doesn't matter which C I use, but I gotta use one of them. What I can't do is put other notes with different letters in the same column. That's not gonna work. It's also not gonna work if you use other notes, like D, and E, and B, we're not using those. We're using C, G, A, and F in that order. So write those letters down if you need to. C, G, A, F. So here's what mine sounds like right now, okay? Okay? So C, G, A, F. Now what I can do, if I put these closer together, so say I move them, if I put them closer together, they're going to be faster. Right? Watch. Okay? The further I put them apart, the slower it's going to be. Oops. There's that. The further I put them apart, the slower it's going to be. Okay? But as long as I follow the pattern, C, G, A, F. Now, I also might want to add some more notes in there. I could put as many C's in a row as I want. Okay, so when I'm done with my C's, then I can go to my G's. I can put as many G's in a row as I want. But then when I'm done my G's, I got to go to the next one, A. Then I can put as many A's in a row as I want until I'm ready to go to F. So right now I put this in, let's see what this sounds like. Okay, and 
And again, say I want to use this C. Right? It doesn't matter. As long as you follow the pattern of C, G, A, and F. Okay? So your first task is to come up with a baseline. Your first task is to come up with a baseline that goes C, G, A, F. Okay? C, G, A, F. After you have that, we're going to put the, uh, the drums in. So we're going to go up to the drum line. And I'm going to put a clap here. And you can copy this. Clap here, a clap here, a clap here, and a clap here. When you do your drum line, you want to put claps here in these spots. So put your claps there. What's going to be different is your kick. Your kick, we're going to put in the same place as your bass notes are. So for example, if I have a bass note in this first square and in the fourth square, I'm going to go up to where it says kick, and I'm going to put it in the kick in the first square, and the fourth square. I also had a kick here. See? Okay. Right? I had one here too. Now I have a kick here as well. So here I go. Okay. And then I have the same pattern over here. Okay, so I'm matching where my bass notes are with my kicks. So I'm going to start them together, right? Going to make sure the lines are going, right? So there they are. If I don't start the drum line at the same time, it won't sound good, but here it goes. So you can see the lines are going in the same space, okay? And now I have a bass line and a drum line. Once you've done your drum line to match your bass line, come up here and throw some of these in. 